Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool news today coming from 1 and 256. Uh, after seeing the review, or the unboxing as you will, of the new Black Miner F1 Mini Plus, I think I got that alright, it's quite a mouthful. Uh, look, they've basically gone and decided that this is going to be the next 1 and 256 competition that they're doing. So, the way that it works is you go along, uh, you will buy a ticket, kind of like a raffle, and you have a 1 in 256 chance of winning. Now this is really cool because they're offering two of the Black Miner F1 Mini Pluses. The new models which come with the fan and everything all built in. Really great. Uh, and it's also a really awesome way for even a non-technical newbie to kind of get involved. If you've got this hardware, Black Miner have made it pretty easy for you to download some software on your computer. And what it does is it reprograms the FPGA for you every 10 days. So, that's really awesome. Love to see this. Big shout out to the 1 and 256 people. Thank you for supporting Digibyte by offering a black miner to, again, further support home mining and decentralization and distribution. I think that's what these black miners are really great for, the minis especially. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not specifically limited just to Digibyte. You can also go and mine other things. They do support a number of different algorithms. So, uh, if you do decide you want to mine something else, you do have options with the FPGA. So, I think that's a really cool function of FPGAs as well. Uh, now, everybody's kind of noticed over the last few days that things haven't quite been right with the Digi Explorer. So what I'm going to do is I'll quickly show you here, this is the status page which you can go to. So it's basically the digiexplorer.info and you can click on status on the left hand side here. Now you'll see down the bottom here, uh, there is an error message and again also here on the current sync status. So, long story short, it's not happy at the moment. It is being worked on, and again, I want to give a big shout out and appreciation to the developers who are working on this and have been for the last couple of days to get everything all back up and running. It hasn't been easy. There's been a couple of things that have kind of caught them along the way. They'd stop, begin a resync, find something else, begin another resync. Anyway, so long story short, it is being worked on. There is progress being made. It is coming. Now, the Digibyte Go wallet also relies on what's on this server. So, if you are using Digibyte Go, you'll probably have noticed that it's not too happy right about now. Don't worry, your funds are all still safe. They're stored on the blockchain and not inside the little window that you see on your PC. So no matter what happens, at the end of the day, you can always go along and use DigiSweep. So this is a really cool utility by Matthew, also known as MC Trivia, and he hangs out a lot in the support channel. So Matthew's been working overtime as well to help people. Big thank you to Matthew for all that he's been doing lately, especially. Hey, cool, look, we've got a new error message. <laughs> That's what I meant by it is being actively worked on. I've actually got a chat open at the moment with people. It is being worked on. So hopefully it will be up and running shortly. Can't provide any time frames, unfortunately. Like I have mentioned, this is run on a volunteer basis by people who do have other day jobs, but they are looking to get it back up and running, so sit tight, it is coming soon. Your funds are safe is the main thing, and if you are in a rush, you can always use the G Suite. If you do have any questions, feel free to jump into the support channel. I'll include a link in the description below for Telegram support channels. Now, one last thing, uh, overnight we've kind of come up with the, well not really come up with it, but it's been announced that Mimblewimble's privacy model is predominantly broken. Now, this is something that's already implemented in Grin, Beam, it was something that Litecoin were looking into to implement as well. Potentially now, I would suggest that they're going to look at something else. But now, the reason that I bring this up is because if we scroll down here, they talk, if we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down... Reading about it here, they talk about Dandelion. Now, Dandelion is something that Digibyte has implemented to obfuscate and hide the originator's IP address when you're sending a transaction. The idea being you don't want people knowing your physical location by matching it up to your IP address, give or take. Um, so, with Mimblewimble, there is two aspects to it at the moment. Well, there was. Hiding the value or hiding the amounts that's still good. Kind of like a coin join, if you will, similar to Dash, for example. Hiding the participants, for example, though, completely broken now, and they're basically saying it's a waste of time. And they even go back and they talk about how they've known about this. This was a year ago. Was it actually? It was a little over a year ago, I think. Yeah, okay, so back in July. This has been discussed since July 2018. They have now actually come out though and the author of this particular research paper has actually included a whole bunch of different um, things uh, on GitHub now which show you how to reproduce it and DIY. But long story short, they say that Dandelion, which Digibyte has implemented, 
still cool, still useful, still does what it says it does. Obviously, we could do with more nodes. The more nodes, the better, the more security and things. So if you are running a full Digibyte node, consider port forwarding on your router or something similar. Uh, and again, this is something that Ricardo Spagni, he is from Monero, uh, very well regarded, especially when it comes to privacy and cryptography. He's also confirmed here it doesn't affect Dandelion's IP obfuscation techniques. So great news there as well coming out from, I suppose, this research paper that Dandelion, which we have, is still great. Now, again, we obviously don't have any kind of value hiding techniques in Digibyte, so this doesn't really affect us. It's not something we've specifically gone down the path of, nor do I really believe it's on the roadmap for the developers. But again, being a permissionless project and things, if this is something that interests you, you are more than welcome to come along, suggest it, we'll get to the community discussing it, get it submitted, and see how things go. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. Quick catch up, but again, I really want people to just take away from this. This is being worked on with Digi Explorer. Your Digibyte Go is safe. There are alternative explorers that are out there, which I'll include a link in the description to some of them that you can use if you want to still browse the blockchain in the meantime. So that's all from me for today. You can reach me in the comments section below. I like to hang out down there. Consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button, and share this around. You can also reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.